In this video, we'll be exploring a workaround on how to get the Game Pass rewards for Overwatch 2 on Steam. If you're like me, you like to launch everything through Steam, you like that game time to accrue, but you're also a Game Pass subscriber and you want to get those rewards when you're playing Overwatch 2, this is going to be the solution. There's currently no official way to do it, so we have to resort to a workaround. It's pretty easy to do, it's a little bit silly, but it works. I've been using it since those Game Pass rewards were introduced. So let's get into it. There are some good things and some not so good things. So the good things are your Overwatch 2 playtime will properly accrue in Steam. So as you're playing Overwatch, that, that time is going to accrue in Steam. And we are using the official Overwatch 2 game profile. So all the overlay functionality, screenshots, maybe even invites will work. This is way better than going to games and adding a non-Steam game to my library because it's using the official Overwatch 2 profile for Steam. The not so good things are you're going to have to download the game twice. You're going to have to log into the game every time you launch it, which is kind of annoying, especially if you use an authenticator. When you're playing the game on Steam, the detailed in-game activity, for instance, Steam telling your friends that you're in-game competitive aren't going to be shown. It's going to say that you're playing Overwatch 2 and that's it. There's going to be no details on what you're doing inside of Overwatch 2. So the method is really simple. You're going to need Battle.net as well as the Xbox app on your PC. You want to go ahead and download Overwatch 2 via the Xbox app. It's going to launch Battle.net. They're all connected now and it's going to download the game. Once you've downloaded the game, launch it through the Xbox app. It's going to launch the Battle.net version of the game. Make sure you're signed in. Everything's working. Make sure you have all the rewards such as the 10% Battle Pass bonus as well as the skins. After that, you want to download and install the Steam version of the game. So go ahead and do that as well. Once you've downloaded both versions of the game, you need to figure out where the Xbox version of the game installed. So you want to right click on it in your library here, go to manage, click on files, and it'll show you where it's installed. After that, click on browse, and it'll take you directly to the directory. You want to copy the path of the exe file located in the retail folder. So click on retail and copy the path to this exe file. To do that, you can right click on the exe and copy as path. Once you have that path copied, go back to Steam, right click on Overwatch 2 in your library, click on properties, and you'll notice this launch options field here. You want to paste that path as it is with the quotation marks, add a space and type percent command percent. What you're doing now is you are launching the Game Pass slash Battle.net version via Steam. So when you click on play in Steam, it's actually launching the exe file from the Battle Pass version. If you don't want to have two installations of Overwatch 2 on your PC, you can actually remove the Steam version. What I would personally do is just remove the data folder. So you can right click on Overwatch 2 in your library, go to manage, browse local files, and this data folder here is the bulk of the data. It's about 59 gigs. So I would just remove that. Otherwise, I think you're safe just removing everything, but I kept it on my PC anyway because it's on a secondary drive. And finally, to test things out, I'm going to go ahead and launch it via Steam. What this is doing again is it's launching the exe file from the Battle.net installation. I'm going to go ahead and log in here because I have to do that every single time. So here I am logged into the game. And as you can see here under Battle Pass, I am getting that 10% bonus from Game Pass Rewards. I also have the skins available. So if I go to, say, Moira, uh, you'll see here that the Celestial skin for Xbox is available. And I can go ahead and equip it. So that's it. That's the workaround on how to get the Xbox Game Pass Rewards for Overwatch 2 on Steam. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and I try to respond to every single one of them. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.